You caught me pink handed. So that must mean we're doing a recipe video. We are doing a recipe video and I have a present for you. Ew, no, I don't like them like this. Today, we're gonna make air fryer chicken wings. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it's no secret out there that we love chicken wings. We love chicken wings. We go there like every Tuesday. We go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yep. One of the reasons we go to Buffalo Wild Wings is because it's cheap on Tuesdays. It's buy one, get one free. At least so long as you can do takeout because we're not much into going to the restaurant Cause, itself. Because sometimes chicken wings aren't cheap. No, as a matter of fact, I went to the store and bought chicken wings and they're like $3 a pound. Yeah. Well, you know, that's with the little piece on it that you don't like and, and then they're going to shrink down and sometimes it's just cheaper to go to the store. But... It's also nice to make them at home. Yeah. And we are right now in the middle of our April Chopped Challenge, and it's Chicken Wing Day, so why not make some chicken wings? Let's do it. Okay, so these are gonna be air fryer chicken wings. You can make them in the oven, but we really did the whole thing to make them in the air fryer. If you want to see a recipe on how to make super crispy wings in the oven, Yes. check out the video that we have linked right up here. It's a little bit longer process, but you will get the crispiest wings that you've ever had without frying them. But these are pretty stinking good. Are you ready? Yes. So obviously the first thing you need is some chicken wings. Without this thing. Here's the thing, when you buy them this way, you're saving yourself a lot of money. I don't like it though. It's very simple, you're gonna simply take a knife and you're gonna cut off the little wing at, and then you kind of cut right down the middle and the cartilage where it all joins together and you have a thing. But like most of the stores around here charge like an extra dollar fifty a pound to already have it cut apart. And again, wings are already expensive. Did you cut it? But I already cut them all apart Yay! for you. Now here's the thing, when you do get them this way, you can do something with that. You can take them and kind of stick them in the air fryer and now you have some little crispy treats. Obviously you don't want to eat the bones, but you can Sometimes kind of eat all of the skin off. Also, you can take them and if you want to make some like bone broth, throw them in there and they'll oh, kind yeah. of get nice and jiggly, stuff like that. Jiggly. So don't throw those out. Make sure you just kind of chew all the skin <laughs> off of them. But we'll put that off to the side. I'll cut this one apart. From there, we need some garlic. We're going to use minced garlic. We need some salt. Red mint. We need some pepper. We need, I don't have a bag of it, so we need some Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. We need... Some pork rind crumbs. We so like pork and good. You can either make them yourself, like run to the store, buy a cheap bag of dollar ones, run them through a food processor, or you can get the pork and good ones. They're already done. They have several flavors. Spicy We're Cajun. We're gonna use the spicy Cajun, but they have an Italian one. Any flavor you want, you can use plain ones if you want. And then if you wanna be like Emeril Lagasse and Bam. kick it up a notch, we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. This one is completely optional, but we like everything spicy. So you ready to get into this? Yeah. Let's put all of this away and then we'll start cooking it. Okay, you ready? Yes. This is super easy to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Yay, and we're using an air fryer. Yes. So it is so easy, probably even the kids could make it. Absolutely. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. In a bowl, we're gonna take our Parmesan cheese and we're gonna kind of dump it in there. Okay. Then we're gonna dump in our pork rinds. Now, the recipe for this is linked down below. Um, I'm gonna have some figures down there, but it's kinda gonna be based on how many wings you have. So we've got five pounds of wings. So I'm not gonna give you the measurements here because if you only got two pounds of wings, it's yeah. obviously gonna be different. You can just kinda break it apart down below. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're gonna take some minced garlic. And again, you can use garlic powder if you want. You can use uh, some regular garlic and just chop it up yourself. We're gonna take some salt and pepper. 
And this one, I'm adding about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Yum. Again, just to kick it up a notch. We're gonna go ahead and mix that all together. There is something magical that happens when we air fry with garlic. Well, it sticks to the bottom of the air fryer. It just, and well, it smells the house up amazing. I know, I love it like that. And But when the ones that uh, stick to the chicken itself, it's just extra tasty. Yeah, and one of the things about this is, is the air fryer, there's lots of fat on those chicken wings, so you don't need to add any fat or anything like that. They're gonna get nice and crispy in the air fryer, but then the Parmesan cheese makes a nice crispy crust along the outside. And it's amazing, you don't need any kind of like egg wash. Now that you've got that all mixed, we can take this out and we're gonna take our wings. Now I like to kind of dry them off a little bit. It's kind of up to you. Um, when I dry them off a little bit, it's just a little bit less water that you have to deal with in the air fryer. Yeah. We're gonna take a few at a time because you're not gonna be able to cook the whole batch at once. Don't okay? try you that. You need to be able to have some airflow in the air fryer. That's how it works. Like one of the mistakes that people make in an air fryer when they're trying to make something like wings or something is they actually put like tin foil or parchment paper in the bottom. Now, if you look at the way an air fryer works, there's a basket in here. This is, this is heavily used. Yes. Right? So you have a basket in here and you have these little slots and then there's slots on the bottom. So what's gonna happen is, is the air is gonna circulate around the food 360 degrees. If you put parchment paper- You're blocking that. Or yeah, you put like tin foil on the bottom, yeah, it's not gonna stick to the pan, but it's also not gonna get crispy down there. Yeah. So don't do that. I know it's really tempting. Instead, what we're gonna just do to, to kind of help the sticking a little bit is we're gonna take just like a little bit of like coconut oil spray or you know avocado oil spray and just kind of coat the bottom a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now what we're gonna do is just take some of your wings. Now, you're a flats girl. I am a flats girl. I kind of like them both. I, I, I wanna go back and forth. Let what us do know like? down in the comment section. Do you like flats or do you like drums? Me, I need an equal amount. So, like, I'm very careful when we get wings, like, we each get, like, each a flat, each a flat, each a flat, each a drum, each a drum. And when I'm eating them, I need to eat a flat and then eat a drum and then eat a flat. And, and if I have too many of one of them, it, like, throws me off. It's like when I used to eat, like, Skittles or something like that. You'd you go did. red, green, you know, like, blue, and, and you had to eat, like, In you order? had to have the same amount of color of each one. You didn't do that? No. Something's wrong with me, I guess. I, yeah, well, um, I, you said it. I did not. Um, no, what I usually do, I guess I do have my own little hang up is I eat all the drums first to kind of like get them out of the way because I'm saving myself for the flats. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a few of them, you're gonna put them in there and you're just gonna kind of toss it around and you wanna get your coating on there. You're basically making fried chicken, but wings. Yeah, and no egg. Okay, so once you have them, you can show this is what they're gonna look like. So you wanna get a decent amount of coating on there. You don't have to overdo it, but you definitely wanna have some coating on there. And then we wanna put it into our air fryer so that they are spaced out and the air can circulate. So we have five pounds of wings here. This is gonna be probably two batches, maybe even three. So this is how you wanna have them spaced out. You don't have to have a lot of space in between each one, just a little bit, because what's gonna happen is they're cooking, they're gonna shrink down and you're gonna get more air circulating around them. So we have about 10. Just we have about you. 10 in here. And again, it's gonna depend yeah. on your air fryer, like how big you are, have. Um, we have the, I think it's the Corsair. This is the extra large one. Link down below for it. We've had a lot of air fryers. This one is awesome. Stood the test of time. We've had it, I guess, for a couple of years now. Yeah. Never had any issues with it. The only issue we had is because, and we actually did this ourselves, we dropped it. And so we broke this little piece that holds the front handle on. But it goes back on. And I never called them, but because there's supposed to be a little red piece here. But again, this was because we dropped it yeah. and broke it because it hit the tile floor. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna preheat our air fryer. So we usually just put it five minutes for at 400 degrees. We're gonna put this into the air fryer, 370 degrees for about nine minutes. And again, your air fryer may be a little bit different. Then we're gonna go back and we're going to flip them all over to make sure they, sure they get crispy on both, both sides. sides and go another nine minutes. So we'll be back in 18 minutes.
Okay, the first batch is done. We're not gonna wait for the other batches, mostly because our brisket is done as well, and I wanna go eat brisket. Yeah, we do. Uh, but we're also gonna have chicken wings. But yeah, so the first batch is done, 18 minutes, nine minutes on each side, and you can see they are nice and crispy. Very crispy. You can see all the little pieces of garlic on there, the Parmesan cheese crisps up. It, it's just, I can't wait. You ready? Yeah. We gotta dink it. Somebody said we didn't dink something last time. You swear they're floured, mm -hmm. right? It's just so crispy all over. These are so good. And honestly, I love wings with blue cheese. These don't even need the blue cheese dressing. Because no. mm. there's so many flavors going on. Yeah. These are awesome. That little bit of cayenne pepper, it gives it just that little bit of heat without just like overdoing it. Now, another way that you can actually give them even more heat is take just like two tablespoons of like um, hot sauce, mm -hmm. okay? And you're gonna put it in a bowl, coat them all, just not a lot, just a little, you just want a little bit and then toss it in there. So now you get the heat underneath everything. It's just another little option if you wanna have a little bit of wetness like on the wings when you're so coating good. them. Uh, but these just came out perfect. And they're nice and juicy because Very the moist. air fryer just like seals everything in there. Um, mm -hmm. This is so good. Messy. I'm so excited we have a lot of them to, to eat. Well, that is gonna be today's video. Let us know down in the comment section if you try this. Also, again, let us know, what kind of wings do you like? Do you like flats? Do you like drums? What's your favorite flats. spice on them? And then also, what I'm curious is, what do you like to dip them in? Because we have an amazing blue cheese dressing, which I'm gonna link right up here, but some people like to dip them in ranch. Well, that, we even have an amazing cheese sauce recipe and sometimes people like to dip it in that. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be today's video. Now, if you like seeing cooking videos like this, check out some of the other ones that we have linked right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we're gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have a new recipe, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.